We left for uh, our deployment in Afghanistan uh, mid-February 2010. We're on a basic foot patrol for uh, just gathering intelligence and a, kind of a census patrol to see, uh, stop and talk to the people in the community, uh, see if they had seen any problems or um, any Taliban in the area. Uh, about halfway down the road, I turned around and told uh, my, my buddy behind me to watch his step and uh, uh, it just didn't seem right. And uh, as soon as I turned my head back forward is when the IED went off. And uh, I remember looking down and uh, my left leg was um, splayed open. I just saw a big red blob with a white line in the middle. And there wasn't really anything else they could do for me just because of the, uh, the tissue damage, the nerve damage, and, and um, the vascular, I guess, through the femoral artery that was, that was damaged in there too. So they pretty much got to a wall where they said, I mean, this is what it is, this is what you're gonna have to learn to live with and go to therapy and try to strengthen what you have. I couldn't run at all. Uh, getting up and down out of, out of a seat and, uh, and stairs were, as I said before, were, were pretty difficult. Um, and at times, uh, if I had to do it a lot for work or get around, it would fatigue out so much that um, just the, the, the pain in both legs and the knees and my back would be so much that I would be, I would be down for days at a time. It was a Friday that I went in and had the surgery. Saturday and Sunday, I was up walking around. Uh, Monday, I walked myself out of the hospital and up and downstairs, down the street, uh, to the car, with carrying my bag and putting everything in. Um, it was I was still getting used to it, but I could already feel it was stronger. I could I could do stairs. Um, pretty much everything else prior to that that I couldn't do was already ten times better. Ron had a procedure in which we implanted a specialized material that's made up from the proteins that exist around the cells in our body. Uh, the proteins in this case uh, came from an animal source, uh, but they uh, make a material that we call extracellular matrix. This material, when implanted into a uh, part of the body that's been injured, uh, will provide a supportive structure, a scaffold, if you will, for a patient's own cells and blood vessels to grow into and help promote a healing process. This material can then remodel into a new tissue that will reinforce the surrounding muscle tissue, provide a supportive structure, and also has the capability to develop cells that can behave like muscle cells and increase the function of the muscles in that area. About three to four months after the, the uh, procedure, I was able to uh, get to about two to three minutes of a run on the treadmill, and I couldn't run at all before. Um, so the strength had continued to improve to where I had uh, more control over my leg and extending it forward. and. Um, it's just huge improvements from, from before. I was surprised how quickly it had taken and how, how fast I've seen the improvement that uh, they'd said that they, they've heard the same from almost all the other patients, the same thing, like they've been up the next day or um, have seen immediate improvement with uh, strength and muscle. Uh, the advances are just so far ahead that I, I didn't even know this stuff existed.